Morning. So, trap season's finished. This is the start of the pike season. Uh, thought I'd take a minute or two before I uh, kick off and introduce myself. For people who don't remember, Martin Smith. Um, I'm a member of the UK and Ireland Guideline Ambassador Team. Um, I do a lot of pike fly fishing. I've been fishing for pike for 30 odd years. Fly fishing for, I don't know, the best part of 15, 16 years of that. Um, mostly for pike and then well, a bit of everything really. A lot of streamer fishing for perch and trout as well. But I just thought, seems how a lot of people are putting the trout rods away. Salmon season's coming to an end or it's ended in places. Um, I just go through the setup for pike. Um, uh, if you want to get out and give it a go, then you, you've got a starting point and you can figure the rest out as you go then. Um, so rods, rod and reel. Uh, start with that setup and I'll go through what's in my bag. Um, so rods, uh, nine foot, nine weight, that's my chosen preference of rod. Um, eight weight minimum, eight, nine, ten. Nine's my, my preference. Uh, uh, the Guideline LPX, nine foot, nine weight Predator uh, is my rod of choice. Um, teamed up with the seven, nine Halo DH uh, and an Airflow Sniper. Most of the time I'm using a um, Sink 3, um, suits most of my fishing, a lot of it's on the river so I'm just getting a fly down and stuff. Um, and then to the leader setup, is a time I own leaders and I've, I've kind of messed around with wires and stuff but I've settled on this quite a long time ago this setup, so it is an arm span. 30 pound fluorocarbon to start off with. Tire perfection loop in one end, and then that is then tied with a an Albright knot to about 14 inches, single strand titanium. Uh, yeah, that's 40 pound this one, anything 25, 30, 40 pound. Lots of people have got their own preference on uh, leader material. Find single strand, it's doesn't kink after lots of little fish and jacks. Um, you, you don't have to change it, whereas multi strand stainless wire gets kinked up very easy. Onto that, there's a size 3 mustard flash thatch clip. You can just change flies really quick with that. Just snaps on and off. Dead simple. And I carry other flies in my pocket just for a quick change. Um, like I say, there's tons of backing on this reel, more than you'll ever need for a pike. Um, next important for line tray, always fish with a line tray, especially when you're walking on the banks and you just all clutter and you throw nettles and brambles and mud everywhere. Last thing you want is you, want, you don't want this sand picking on your line and going through your guides because it sounds absolutely awful. So I've always used uh, a line tray. This one is well, started off with, as a lot of people do, just started with a washing up tray and made some pokey up bits in it out of some uh, golf tees, I think. Um, and then quickly got onto the line curve. And this one has been absolutely bomb proof. I've fallen on it multiple times and it's still not snapped on it. It's nice and flexible. If you want a big landing net, preferably one with rubber mesh because the last thing you want to do is you want you don't want a fish that's hooked and the hook gone through uh, and then the hook getting stuck in the net because that's just a, a nightmare so a rubberized net makes things a lot easier. Unlock your mat, lay it down when you're on stuff like this so there's twigs everywhere, protect the fish. And then in the bag I carry Big hook out tool. If you want a good set of pliers or a, or a hook out tool like this, it's no good having little forceps that are just no good to deal with like 4 and 6 0 hooks. You want something substantial. This is a, a big hook out and it's like a pistol grip style. So when you've got the fish, you've got full vision instead of uh, your hand being in the way, just straight in. That's always in the right hand pocket of my bag. Simply the fact I'm right handed, so I grab the fish with the left hand. Um, and I can reach round and just grab that off my back 
deal with the fish and then it's sorted. Um, got a comb. That's an equestrian comb, that, just a, an aluminium one that I drilled. Just so that's always clipped on the bag, just for combing your flies out. Standard stuff like scissors in there. A box of the weird and wonderful. A box of flies. Now these can be anything from tiny flies to big imitation flies. Any colour, flash, wiggle tails, everything. You name it, it goes with a pike fly. There's nothing too bright or garish. Some days they want black and dull, other days they want bright flash. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Just go through the flies. So. Then I just carry a simple wallet. That's just got spare wiggle tails. Uh, spare leaders in there and everything. And then just a set of, a set of scales that go up to £40 just on the off chance that I do get something worth weighing. Um, and that's it really, there's not really much to carry around, it's a pretty simple method. Um, for camera equipment I just use my phone, um, I've adapted a, a, a selfie stick and just that, that just gets enough elevation on it with the selfie stick just poked into the ground onto a normal bank stick um, and then just either set it onto a whistle camera, set it on video, hold your fish up and then take a still of it afterwards. The job's a good one and that's pretty much it really. Um, I, don't know, I use a, a stripping guard on my finger um, but yeah that's that's pretty much it. Just, just a big garish fly. Sometimes little minimum flies do it, sometimes big nasty flies do it. Just, uh, I don't let the river level put me off either, um, unless it's just too high, but if it's up and coloured I don't mind, I'll still fish for pike. Get a lot of takes from the edge. Oh, and one other thing that's very important, polarised sunglasses. Watch your fly when it comes in, don't, and then watch like a couple of foot behind it, because a lot of time on these places like this, especially like around willows like this where you've got deep margins the pike will come up at your feet and just smash a fly right at the end of the tree pretty exciting stuff especially if you see it uh, but yeah that's it that's, that's pike fly fishing setup so hopefully now I'll, uh, I'll get a few in the net uh, thanks for watching sightlines